In this video for the shed series, we are going to be covering topo surfaces. So the first thing you're going to want to do is switch to your site plan over here in the project browser. So go ahead and double click on that. And then we're going to, going to go into the massing and site ribbon up top. And here is topo surface. If you're wondering what topo surface is, it's that topographical surface for your 3D model. Um, you can also specify actual property lines within the topo surface, but we're just going to go ahead and show you just a basic uh, surface to create for our shed to sit on. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and left click on topo surface. You'll notice that the ribbon has changed and you are now in the place points. So you're pretty much just defining the uh, area of the land. So we're pretty much just going to make four points, just a random kind of rectangle. So I'm going to just kind of left click here, left click one here. There is no exact position to these. So go ahead and just create this rectangle. And as you get to this fourth one, you'll notice that it kind of creates that boundary for your topo surface. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit the green check mark to finish. And I'm going to left click and select that surface and then we're going to change the material. We want it to look a little bit more realistic when we do our renders. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the material and then click on this three little dots. And within our material browser here, I'm going to click on this show slash hides library panel. It's kind of hiding the library panel that I want to see down here. And then I'm going to, if yours is kind of small, you might want to click and drag this up a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on down there. And then I'm going to search for grass. We're going to add some grass to that topo surface. And under um, the material library down here, you'll see grass. And I'm going to click this little arrow here, which will add the material to my document. So I can click on that. And then under the graphics tab up here, you're going to check use render appearance. And then I'm going to click apply and click OK. And let's go ahead and click save. We'll see the results of that uh, grass material in a little bit. Let's move directly into um, creating a kind of gravel um, pathway here right in front of the shed. Maybe if you're pulling the lawnmower out, um, things like that. So to do that, we're going to first have to kind of hide the um, roof and other things that are on top. So I'm just going to left click over here and drag just a little box right along the edge of the uh, roof line there. And then what I'm going to do is go down here to where it says temporary hide slash isolate. You got those glasses. So what I want to do is hide the roof and other materials up there. And then I'm going to hide the category. What that does is anything related to like roofs, like gutters, fascia, and all that, it'll hide that entire category. So I'm going to click on that. And now I'm just left with my shed. And then up top under the massing and site, I'm going to click on subregion. And then your ribbon should change again. And this time, instead of drawing points, you're actually creating, we're actually going to create a rectangle. So I'm going to click on rectangle here. And what we're doing is we're dragging out the space that we want that, um, that gravel pathway in front of the garage where we want it to be and how big we want it. So what I'm going to do is hover over. And if you just hover over the front of the garage here, you should be able to snap to the end point right where the garage door is. So I'm going to left click, drag my mouse out, and then if you go to the other side, uh, we're going to go 8 feet wide and 8 feet long. So 8 by 8, and then I'm going to left click to add that in. And we're going to do things a little bit differently than the way we did the topo surface, we're actually going to change the material category right here while we're in there. So under material here, I'm going to click on the three little dots again. And then this time I'm going to search gravel. And you'll see gravel down there. You're going to click the little arrow again to add that. 
and then uh, use render appearance one more time. And then you can click apply and OK. And go ahead and click the green check mark. And then under the sunglasses down here for the temporary hide, we're going to go ahead and hit reset, which will then bring our roof back. And we're going to switch to an east elevation. So I'm going to go east, double click on that. I'm going to zoom in down here. If you left click right, I think I'm on it. Yeah, if you left click right here, you can select the topo surface. And what we're going to do is we're going to move it down just a little bit. Um, here is the base of our shed. And what, you typically won't have the ground level lined up right with the bottom of the shed because, you know, there's moisture and things down there. So typically that surface is right uh, along the middle of the base. So I'm going to just go ahead and pull left click hold and drag and kind of just bring it down a little bit below the bottom of the shed just like so. And then let's go ahead up and do our 3D view. So I'm going to click the house there. And um, right now, because of our view style, we don't really see the results of everything that we did. So down on the bottom here, we're going to go into the visual styles. And let's change that to realistic. And that'll give you a better preview if you zoom in, kind of orbit around, shift in the mouse wheel, and kind of see what we did. You see the gravel pattern there in front of the shed. You'll see the... Um, the grass there uh, that we added with the topo surface. And I do 